Sysense makes it really easy to analyze data through visualizations or widgets. So to add a new widget, you'll need to start with the data. So you simply click on Select Data, and you'll be presented with an elastic cube with all the various tables and fields and formulas contained within it. So if I scroll down, you'll see I have a table here called, called Commerce and the relevant fields that I can work with. Similarly, I have another f table over here called Brand and the fields. To get started, I need to select a field that I want to work with. So I can type in either by search over here, and all matching fields will come up. Once I have a field I can work, I want to use for the analysis, I can click on it and it will calculate a sum on that field. Or if I click on more, it'll open up additional menu items and additional calculations or filters that I can apply to that field. Let's just keep it simple. I'm going to select this field and perform the sum of cost. And over here, I'll get a visualization. And on to the left over here, I can choose how I want that data to appear in a widget. What's important to note is as I add new fields, um, there'll be different options that'll open up to me that I can select to choose how I want to analyze and visualize that data. So I'm going to go ahead and add more data. In this case, I'm going to choose the country. And because it's a text field and not a numeric field, they're slightly different options. So I can either perform a unique count or I can select all the items or I can use a filter. So in this case, I'm going to select all the countries. And you can see now that the preview has been updated. I have a pivot table now that lists the country and the cost has been broken down per country. In addition, on the left hand side, I can choose other ways to visualize this data, other widgets. So if I click on the pie, I'm now getting this data represented as a pie. I can also add additional fields as I need to, as I need for my analysis. I can also click on the particular field over here that I'm using and another menu item opens up. So in this case, I can change the calculation. Let's say if I want to do a count instead of a sum, there's also quick functions available. We discuss this in other videos, but we can do quick time functions um, and I can use various formatting options as well. Lastly, to the left over here, I have advanced configurations. Clicking on that will open up an additional window and I'll be able to format that particular widget further. Once I'm happy with my widget, I can simply click on create and it'll be placed on the dashboard. Once that's there, I can add as many widgets as I need for my analysis. So I can go ahead to the top, click on new widget and the widget wizard will open up again and I can repeat that process. So as you can see, it's a very simple iterative process. You need to focus on the data and Sysense will suggest appropriate visualizations. And you can very quickly get a very rich and insightful dashboard.